Proud of our team's efforts out there tonight. Um, certainly, you know, I thought Molly Davis played really well for us uh, on both ends. Um, I mean, they just, you know, shot the three ball really, really well today. Uh, well below, above their average, about 13% above their average. And then we just did not have an answer for Cody McMahon inside. I mean, she draws 10 fouls, um, goes to the free throw line 14 times. So that was just a, a tough, you know, she's, she's really, really hard to guard. She's a great basketball player. Um, you know, it's unfortunate the game ended that way and Caitlin gets taken out on the floor, um, gets some inappropriate words yelled at her by fans, by students. Um, that just should not happen. It should not happen. Our players should be safe. They should be able to walk off the floor. Um, I, that's, uh, that's very disappointing. I, I think Ohio State, great team, great environment, but, but obviously very disappointed with the post game with our players getting injured trying to walk out of the gym. That's wrong. I guess for, for both of you, kind of what was your point of view what happened on, on the floor after the game? And then Caitlin, I guess, are you okay? Kind of how physically, how are you? Yeah, I'm okay. I think, like, great environment. Obviously, like, these are the games you'd love to play in. 18,000 people here. Um, you know, obviously I can see they're storing the court, which is totally, which is fine. And got, I mean, good for their students, great one for them. And I was just trying to exit the court as quickly as possible. So I started running and I was absolutely just hammered by somebody trying to run onto the court and basically blindsided and, um, you know, kind of scary. Could have caused a pretty serious injury to me and knocked the win out of me. But um, luckily my teammates kind of picked me up and got me off the court, so. Um, and their AD already came and apologized to me, so I really appreciate that. And um, you know, this is what comes with the territory. I mean, I'm sure they tried their best to do whatever they could. Obviously, it didn't work, and that's disappointing. But um, you know, just focus now on the game, and you know, ways we can get better. Question. Uh, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, you're up 12 points against mm -hmm. Ohio State, and then they are able to come back and go on a run. Uh, is there any way? How do you stop a run like that whenever they're really firing on all cylinders? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I, I take the blame for that. Um, I tried to call some timeouts to slow it down, but uh, I probably should have switched up our defenses a little bit more. Um, but, you know, basically, I mean, they made a great run at it. They got to the free throw line a lot, um, you know, in, in, that, in that ending. They were making, th I mean, three-point plays. And, you know, even in overtime, to go to the free throw line seven times in five minutes, that's, that's a lot. Um, so, you know, it's, it's us staying out of foul trouble, um, keeping the ball out of Cody's hands. Kaylin, you guys are veteran enough to know that whatever happened today, there's still a lot of basketball afterwards. But given the way that it went the way that it did, what do you kind of hope is the biggest takeaway moving forward from, from today? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we tried a lot of different defenses and, you know, they shot the ball well. They shot 50% from three. Um, we had a few people make some threes, especially in the first half that you know, we were going to live with them making some threes. And sometimes that's what happens when you play team on, teams on their home court. But I think we got to find a way to stay out of foul trouble. Just way too many fouling, way too much fouling, way too many and ones. Um, you know, it's it's hard to beat a team. And, you know, the refs called it both ways. It, I mean, it wasn't they're just calling fouls on us. They're calling it both ways. That's how they officiated the game. And um, I think we, you know, we didn't respond too great when they went on their run um, when we were up 12 points in the, in the in the fourth quarter, but um, you know that's what good teams are going to do on their home court, and I think we know. You know, we're a great team too. They're a great team, um, and I told the girls after the game in the locker room, like we're lucky enough we get to play them again. Like, you know, we are going to have an opportunity to, to match up against them again. So don't you know you can't hang your head too much. You know, just got to respond. Every game in the Big Ten is a battle, and um, that's what makes it so fun. Caitlin, I see you're studying that stat. You're really looking over it. So you mentioned the foul, but what are other areas you feel like? The team needs to improve on before your next, next matchup against Ohio State at home? Um, I mean, we never, I think 11 threes is a lot. Um, I think getting out rebounded, um, an area we've done pretty good in this year. They had 13 O boards. I think, I think there was a play at the end of the game where all we had to do was come up with one defensive rebound, and I think we would have had the game won. Um, and we had it, gets tipped around, ends up in Cody's hands, and she gets an and one. So 
Um, I don't think we were tenacious tonight. I, don't, I think we were a little lackadaisical um, in all areas. Um, but, you know, we built a 12-point lead, so there's a lot to be proud of still. Um, but there is a lot of things to learn from. Coach, this isn't your first time seeing Cody McMahon play it twice last year. Is there something anything different about her, her growth that really stands out to you right now about, about her game? I thought she was outstanding last year, too. I mean, she's just so physical, quick, strong, um, just a great player. Um, she's re really, really hard to defend. And, you know, I mean, when she gets going like that, um, you know, the three-point plays are pretty impressive that she can convert and draw the foul. Uh, Coach and Kaylin, you guys both talked about this. Um, preventing the threes, at least she had 11 threes in the game, and it's they went six for seven in the first half, just from the left corner. Um, when you guys play a two-three or one-three-one zone, that kind of leaves you a little bit vulnerable to uh, the three. Did you guys want to crack down on that trip, shift to a man, or did you think about that at all? We keep track of our defenses on the bench, and we were better in zone. Caitlin, I know you've faced off against Celeste Taylor already once in your career, but can you talk about her defense today and even with the foul trouble and just the overall defense that you're seeing from the Buckeyes? Yeah, I think Celeste is a great defender. Um, she's long, she's athletic, she gets in passing lanes really well. Um, you know, look, they had some foul trouble too, so I felt like they had basically about any guard match up with me today. And obviously that's kind of what happens when you press a lot, you kind of have to just run back and scramble. So. Um, we kind of knew that was the case coming in here, but yeah, Celeste is a great defender. Um, she was my teammate on USA Basketball back in the day, um, and she's always had that, that skill and knack for the ball, so uh, I have a lot of respect for her, yeah. Kaylin, what was kind of, did, what did you see and what was kind of the plan on the last possession of regulation? Uh, just try to clear everybody to the left side and rip and go to my right, and um, they helped over pretty good on my layup, and luckily Hannah got the offensive rebound. Um, the reason we went to, to overtime, but it was a it was a clear out drive to my to my right side. So um, I thought they contested it pretty well. I kind of double clutched in the air, but you make some, you miss some.